Janice, I learned so much on this assignment, and although there are not many known cases here throughout Northeast Florida, the concern is people from here will travel to Central Florida, South Florida to buy these palm trees that could be infected and then bring them back here. They come in all shapes and sizes. Palm trees are certainly part of Florida's identity, but killing them is a disease known as lethal bronzing carried by an insect called a plant hopper or leaf hopper. Larry Feigert, an urban forestry extension agent with the University of Florida Duval County Extension Service, says these insects are small and on the move. And what they have are piercing, sucking mouth parts to where they attach to the leaf and they suck the sap out of the leaf. The exact species of leafhopper known to cause lethal bronzing has not yet been identified. According to the Agriculture Department's records, there is one documented case of lethal bronzing in Duval. However, there are 25 known cases in Alachua. Should people in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia be concerned? I think the concern maybe not, but educated. Here's what to look for. If the palms had fruit on them, little berries or dates, that all the dates would drop at once. The second thing that's noticeable to most people is the spear leaf, and that's the, the main growing point that comes out of the middle of the tree. Here's another photo showing the progression of the disease. The photo on the left was taken in March 2018. The photo on the right was taken just three months later. Point the trees infected to it showing signs and symptoms. How long can that span? It can be two to three months. It's important to know lethal bronzing can easily be mistaken for a potassium deficiency, which is very common in palm trees. However, if you suspect lethal bronzing, you will have to have a sample of the tree tested. That could run you up to $75. If it is a confirmed case, the tree should be cut down and other trees around it would have to be treated by antibiotics. We're live this evening. I'm Zach Lashley, Channel 4, the local station.